the love of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. For this love has no deception, has no lies, has no hypocrisy. It's genuine. You take it as it is, for he is the truth. There's no falsification, twisting. What you see is what you get. When Jesus Christ stands before you and says, I love you, my son. I love you, my daughter. Rest assured, there is no other love as genuine as Jesus Christ is. For when he speaks, he speaks the truth. And the truth never changes. So when he says, I love you, I love you when you're close to me. And I love you when you are distant from me. When the Lord Jesus spoke in the Gospel of John, and he said, as a promise, promise, he said, I am with you all the days of your life and until the end of all ages. What does that mean? I am with you all the days of your life. You see, all the days of our life, we are not always with him. There are some days we are with him and other days we are not. But the Lord says, I am with you all the days of your life when you are with me and when you are distant from me. For when I said I love you, I am genuine. My love is pure, is perfect, is holy. There is no hypocrisy in it, no falsification, no twisting. It is the truth. When I say I love you, I love you no matter what. I love you no matter what. I love you no matter what. His love is the truth, straightforward. Kiss me with the kisses of your mouth. Make me one with you and to be drunk in your love that has no deception. Looks like we're finishing. <laughs> Thank God. For you, not for me. I'll be crying when you leave. Christ showed me this love with deeds not just with words. The world gives you plenty of noise pollution words, no action. They promise you the world deliver nothing. The prime minister, the president, except Donald Trump, the prime minister and the presidents, when it's election time, they go on their campaign, they promise you the world. The moment they step into that office, kiss it goodbye, brother, except Trump. Whatever he promised, he delivered. He said he was going to build the wall and Mexico will pay for it. He did. You don't need a politician to lead a nation. You need a leader. Politicians cannot lead themselves, let alone the whole nation. You need someone that feels the people for the people. We lack this very much so, both in the secular world and in the religious sector. Not every father is a father, and not every leader is a leader, and not every teacher is a teacher, and not every doctor is a doctor. Unless you do it from the heart, you cannot do nothing. Nothing good. Nothing good. Christ showed me this love with deeds. Not just words. He said, I love you and I'm willing to die for you. And he did it. He not only said it, but he did it on Calvary on the cross. He did die literally for all of us. Now you cannot get any more genuineness than this. Honesty, integrity. A man of character, Jesus of Nazareth is. You know what a man of character is? The word character means when he is with you and behind your back, he's the same man. When he says, I love you in your face, rest assured Jesus will say it behind your back as well the same way because he's a man of character. He never changes what he says, no matter where it is and how it is said. So many times we say things before people's faces, but we are totally different behind their backs. Christ never lies. He's always the same. And when he says, you're a sinner, he will say it in your face and behind your back at the same time. He never changes. 
We say things we don't do. Christ, everything he said, he did. He never lies, falsifies, never deceives. Everything he says and does is the truth based on love or through love. Lord Jesus, let me be one in you to be drunk in your love, which is better than wine of deceit, better than the wine of this world, which is full of deception. Let me be drunk in your love, for it is the truth that never lies to me. The book of Acts chapter 2, when the Holy Spirit descended on those 120 people sitting in the upper room, they came out, they started talking in different languages. The people of that country, they said, look, these people, they're acting as if they are drunk. They're behaving like drunk. Yes, they were drunk, but not an earthly wine full of deception. They were drunk with the wine of the Holy Spirit, the love of Christ for the human soul, my beloveds. When they were filled by the Holy Spirit, they were seen to the world as if they were drunk. But they were the sober ones and the whole world was drunk in deception and lies. They were filled by the Holy Spirit. Others said they are drunk, crazy, faithfuls, in the eyes of the, of the world are crazy. Those who love the Lord Jesus are despised by the world, hated by the world, ridiculed by the world. Aren't they? Mm. You speak the truth, they will stone you. They will reject you. They will attack you. It's always the case. What has changed? Nothing. I always say this. From the time of the Lord till now, nothing has changed except one thing, technology. The means of transportation was a camel, a horse, or a donkey. Now you've got Mercedes-Benz, Lamborghini, airplanes, motorbikes, bicycles, and tricycles. Computers. What has changed? Technology. It's the same human nature. Nothing has changed. The Lord spoke the truth. They, they, they crucified him. They killed him for speaking the truth. The world never had, never will have the truth. Why? Because the one who rules over the world is the father of all lies, Satan. Satan hates truth. So don't ever expect the world will give you truth. And more so now in our time and age. Mainstream media, why are you listening to them? It's a waste of time. waste you want the truth read the holy bible there's only one source of the truth and that is christ jesus read his word that's the only truth and this is the only true love and he came to give us that love in a matrimonial bond let him kiss me with the kisses of his mouth marital bond the two become one in holiness in purity and in awesomeness and perfection